Previously on The Legend of Tarzan. What's the occasion? It's Tantor, Daddy. He thinks he's... Uh, sick. Is he going to be all right? I'm afraid he's suffering from some sort of poisoning. It's the river, all right. The answers are hidden in here. What is it, Daddy? The water has definitely been contaminated by some kind of inorganic matter. The problem came from up the river. They were sick. Yes. Obviously, we haven't yet reached the source of the poison. Strangers have come to our land. Now my people are sick and weak. Who has done this? You made my people sick! Basuli, show Tarzan the mountain. So, Tarzan, you think you can defeat that? Destruction must be stopped. But how? They have guns and we have nothing. It will take weapons more powerful than rocks. Perhaps not. Come back! Breaking into a new vein today. Better hit something soon. I'm sick of this place. You and me both, buddy. Maybe this load will turn up some decent gold nuggets. Fairly constrained and useless? Uh, uh, yes, quite useless indeed. Perhaps if we learn a little more about our situation. Capital idea, Jane. We'll open the lines of communication. <clears throat> Kiwazi, sir, can you tell us more about the mountain that Basuli took Tarzan to see? Please, you must believe that whatever is going on there, we have nothing to do with it. Men like you came and tore a wound in the side of the mountain. Big machines dug out dirt and rocks. Dirty water flowed into the river. Soon, the animals and my people grew sick. Uh, the mountain is digging, mm, flowing, what on it? Oh, of course, a mine. They use chemicals to separate the ore from the dirt and rock. That's what's been poisoning the river. Don't they know that these chemicals are deadly? They know. Then they're killing the jungle for their own selfish gains. It's, it's simply deplorable. Deplorable indeed, but not unheard of, I'm afraid. It's no wonder you don't trust us. Oh, dear. What is it, Jane? 
Tarzan is going to try to stop them. One man against so many? That is foolish. Yes, well, diplomacy is not Tarzan's strong suit. He is disconcertingly direct. Oh, the same can be said for Basuli. You seen McTeague? Checking on the hall. Mr. McTeague, the men in tunnel number five are complaining that the heat is stifling. Tell them when they find gold, they can buy a lemonade. Yes, sir. Do you lead these men? My, my, what have we here? You some kind of jungle man? This place is poisoning the river. People and animals are sick and dying. I'm digging for gold here, jungle man. It's the only worthwhile thing in this whole forsaken land. Now, I've got work to do, so if you'll excuse me... This jungle is my home, and I will protect it. <laughs> well, I can see that you're very determined. Too bad. Get rid of him. I told you we need weapons. Get them! Hope we find those guys pretty soon. I'm getting ill just looking at that water. No, oh, what if we miss them? Do you think we've come too far? Should we turn back? Did you see Tarzan back there? No. Then we're not turning back. Keep your eyes on the prize, Tantor. Oh, but that's the whole problem. I don't know where to put my eyes. If only there was some way of knowing where Tarzan is. Some some sort of sign. What, like some trail of bruised and beaten thugs? Or, or maybe some gunshots? Sounds like trouble. And where there's trouble, there's Tarzan. So soon, I won't hear of it. <laughs> I've captured Basuli and Tarzan. Oh, no. Good heavens. Prepare for battle. Uh, Mr. Kiwazi, wait. <laughs> Forgive me for intruding, sir, but, but a direct attack would be disastrous. You said so yourself. Uh, Jane's right. Many men could be lost with no guarantee of saving your son or Tarzan. We do not want to fight, but what choice is there? Give us a chance. Uh, that's quite right. We have the most marvelously clever plan. Do we have a plan? Please, trust us. We, too, have a loved one in danger. I will give you one chance. You came back to help me, just as you helped me. You really are different from the strangers. <clears throat> Not that it makes any difference, given our present situation. See? Your antics were nothing more than a minor annoyance. Minor annoyance? Get it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
the mine will soon be operating again. Too bad the same can't be said for you. Finish them off. <laughs> Mr. McTeague, sir! There's some government officials here to see you. What? Officials? Get these two out of sight, and no noise! Ian McTeague, owner of this mine. Ah, yes. Splendid to meet you. Archimedes Porter, Chief Mine Inspector for the Territorial Administration. And I'm his faithful secretary. Oh, yes. Quite invaluable. Oh, thank you very much, Jane. Mm, don't mention it, sir. So, uh, how can I be of service? Ah, well, we, uh, need to have a look around. Regulations, you understand. Our job is to make sure everything is up to snuff. Oh, well, right you are, sir. Tip-top, spit-spot. <laughs> well, um, we are very busy. Oh, pay us no mind, then. We'll just pop in here and there. <laughs> Coming, sir? Hmm? Oh, oh, ah, yes. <laughs> right behind you, my uh, secretary. <sighs> uh, oh, mercury and sodium cyanide, I should say. And you let it flow right into the river? Well, can't let it overflow right here now, can we? Hmm. Well, rather creaky, isn't it? Oh, yes, quite. Mark that down, Jane. Hmm. Oh. Uh, can we look in there? Not a good idea. It's very dangerous. You have to be thorough, you know. The mine authority won't abide an incomplete report. <gasps> this is outrageous! Appalling! Bound by rope? Such working conditions are totally unacceptable. Come along, men. You may file a complaint at the territorial office. Not so fast. Exactly where is this territorial office? Uh, uh, well, you'll say? Uh, yes, well, it's uh, over on... Uh, well, you know, directions were never my strong suit, you see. <laughs> well, it's north of here, or perhaps it's northeast, wouldn't you say, Daddy? I, I mean, sir? I don't know who you are, but I intend to find out. Let them go. You have me. I won't leave you again. Oh, so it's like that, huh? Get rid of them all. It's time to get back to business. Tentor. Help Jane. You know, a rather effective getaway vehicle, actually. There they are! Thanks to Tarzan and the others. I was wrong about you. Please, accept my apologies. Oh, nonsense. Perfectly understandable. All sorted out now. What's the matter? We escaped, but accomplished nothing. The poison still flows into the river. And the strangers will be angry. Move it! Push! When you get in range, hit them. Hard! I want them out of this jungle for good! 
I say we attack now before it's too late. Their weapons are too powerful. Our people would be slaughtered. People need you. Vasuli is right. Attack, I say. Normally I'm a peaceful fellow, but these miners have gone too far. Now, Daddy? Kiwathe, there's a little expression we have that goes, an eye for an eye. I share your anger, but they will be expecting an attack. Well, so then we'll just have to do something unexpected, won't we? What's your idea? That was it, actually. Granted, it's a little thin on details. We are so concerned with the stranger's weapons, we have overlooked a far more powerful force. I think this should do nicely. Uh, what's your opinion, Kiwazi? We will begin at once. <laughs> Simple, but effective. We'll see. What happened to my water? <gasps> Would you look at that? I must have taken a lot of work. And clever engineering. I bet they- McTee! You've got no right to damn this river! How dare you speak of rights! You abuse the jungle solely to enrich yourself! What of our rights? Or those of the animals that lay sick and dying? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm not gonna stand here debating. I need this river, and I am going to take it back! So be it. Tantor! All right, pal, you're on! <laughs> Has done well. Get up! Cowards! The gold in this mountain belongs to me. 
This mountain, this river, and this jungle belong to no man. You have done enough damage. Go now. One day soon, I'll be rich and you'll still be stuck here. I can live with that. Me too. Good riddance to your sir. I told him, make he was it. Well said, Archimedes. Just a few days ago, I had no idea other people live in the jungle. Yet it seems like we have been friends for a very long time. Thank you for the boat and for everything. It is our honor. And remember, the boat goes up the river as well as down. The same goes for you. Don't be strangers. We've got plenty of room. <laughs> Let's go home. Ah, clean water. Nothing like it. <laughs>